The playoff drought is over. The Oakland Raiders have returned to the postseason for the first time in over a decade as the number one seed in the AFC. Today they play their first playoff game in over 10 years to host the Tennessee Titans in the divisional round of the playoffs with their chance to move on to the AFC championship game. January 26, 2003. That was the date of the last playoff game the Raiders played, which was Super Bowl 37 when they lost to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Today they make their long awaited return to the postseason led by a rookie quarterback. Logan Cannon out of Iowa State has helped lead the Raiders to become the number one seed in the AFC in a down year for the AFC where the Raiders have completely taken advantage and here they are back in the postseason divisional round of the playoffs, Raiders versus Titans. And we're about to get this started with Jake Locker leading the Tennessee offense out to the field. 18 touchdowns on the season with 18 interceptions. They are led on offense by running back Chris Johnson. 1,300 yards on the ground this year as he runs on second down for a gain of seven. Facing an early third down, they need one yard. Handoff, Johnson jukes to the right, breaks a tackle, and he is not going to get it. Michael Love with the stop, and it's going to be Raiders football. A quick three and out, and here comes the Raiders offense. Logan Cannon with 15 touchdowns on the regular season with four interceptions and a 66% completion percentage. Handoff, Darren McFadden, open middle, another 1,300-yard rusher in this game as he goes up here for a gain of 10. And now third down, McFadden in the backfield. It's bunched up on the right side as McFadden goes right up the gut and finds some running room for a gain of eight. So far, a couple of nice runs from McFadden. We'll see how much he has relied upon today. Slot formation, first down, pass caught middle by Amendola. First down beyond the 40-yard line, again at 13 yards. At the Tennessee 36, twin tight ends. Cannon fakes to McFadden, stands tall in the pocket, fires outside, caught by Myers inside the 20, inbound 17-yard reception. A very good showing on this first drive for the Raiders, running and passing, second and seven. Cannon, short step drop, dumped off to A.J. Ray, makes a man miss, into the five, and he will break the play for the Raiders' first playoff touchdown in 12 years. Touchdown, A.J. Ray. The crowd here at the Coliseum in a frenzy as the Raiders take a 6-0 lead. How will the Titans respond to a very impressive drive for the Raiders? It's a handoff, Chris Johnson of the middle, hit hard by McClay and the ball's out! Recovered! And it's the Raiders with the ball! James Hazard with the recovery! McClain put a hit on Johnson and the ball was forced out and the Raiders just turned the Titans over. After the impressive touchdown drive, one play and the Raiders have the football again. Cannon outside of the backfield, it's cut by Marcel Reese! Inside the 10 and brought down out of bounds at the 5 yard line. A 22-yard catch for Marcel Reese. Now an eye formation. Handoff. McFadden up the middle. Touchdown, Raiders. A five-yard touchdown run for Darren McFadden as the Raiders are going up by two scores here in the first quarter. The Raiders could not have asked for a better start to this football game. 14-0, and Chris Johnson running the football after his fumble, and Johnson takes it down for a loss of two. Third and 11 for Jake Locker. A split shotgun look. Raiders rush four, outside, and the pass is caught by Aurelius Ben. A nice throw over the head of Chimney Chekwa. A clutch chain mover, and now it's second and eight. Handoff, Johnson up the middle, and he finds a little bit of daylight towards the first down marker, a gain of seven. Third down and ten for Jake Locker at about the 49-yard line. First play of the second quarter, Locker sets up a screen, but not throwing it. Outside instead, and it's almost intercepted. Instead, fourth down and ten. Oakland holds Tennessee again, 14-0, 10 minutes to play in the second quarter. Logan Cannon over the middle, and the pass is dropped in traffic by Denarius Moore. Third and four, three wide. A.J. Ray in motion, and Cannon will throw. Pressure off the edge, it's picked up, and Cannon steps up, and the ball is out, and the Titans have recovered this time. Cedric Ellis with the recovery. It was Derek Morgan on the forced fumble, decking Logan Cannon in the backfield. The Titans needed that turnover, but it's now third down and eight. Chris Johnson in the backfield and Locker hands off up the gut and this is only going to be a game of one, fourth and seven. So the Titans tack on a field goal following the Logan Cannon fumble and the Raiders have it out their own 18 handoff. Darren McFadden with some room on the outside across the 30 and taken down just shy of the 40 yard line at the 38. McFadden with over 50 yards so far in the first half and Cannon throws on second and eight. With time underneath, caught by McFadden, he breaks one tackle, make it two across midfield. A gain of 13 yards. 
The Raiders need eight on third down. Tight shotgun look. Cannon back to pass. He throws outside and leaping is A.J. Ray with the catch. Inside the Titans 25 yard line. He's drawing it up with Barry Church after leaping over the head of Tommy Campbell and making the first down grab. What a catch for A.J. At the 22, offset eye. Counter play left, it's McFadden in the backfield. He's dropped for a loss and it looks like he could be shaken up on this play. As he is down, getting up slowly, but he will leave the field under his own power, it looks like. DeRay Ray in the game will give an update on McFadden as soon as possible. Cannon play action, running backwards, and he is sacked by Shanon Newman for a loss of nine. Janikowski for a 49-yard field goal attempt from left hash. Snap down, kick is up, and it is dead center. Good, 17-3 Raiders. The Titans trying to capture some momentum with 4.40 to play in the first half. 17-3 Raiders, Locker passing, touch throw to Nate Washington. He makes the catch, breaks the tackle, and is down to the 39-yard line. The Titans need Locker to be at his best. So far, Chris Johnson has not busted off any long runs, and this slant to Kenny Britt is good for a first down that crosses midfield. In Raiders territory, a good drive orchestrated by Jake Locker. First and 10, here's the pressure, he evades it, and he finds an open receiver, Nate Washington. Cuts to the middle of the field, great play extension by Locker as Nate Washington to the 32. Approaching the two minute warning, first down and 10, split shotgun, it's Johnson and nowhere to go, he will lose one yard in this play. Under two minutes to play in the first half, third and 11 for the Titans, three wide for Jake Locker. Dropping back, and here is the pressure, and he is sacked by Lamar Houston. The sack master for the Raiders defensive line sacks Jake Locker and knocks the Titans out of field goal range. And the Raiders are going to take the lead into halftime, 17-3, a very fast start. Can they keep it up? The second half is up next. The Raiders' first playoff game in 12 seasons, and they're looking very impressive today. A 17-3 lead coming out of the half as DeRay Ray is still in the football game for McFadden as he takes the first play of the third quarter for a zero-yard gain. Update on Darren McFadden. He suffered an abdominal strain in the first half and is questionable to return. Second and 10 for Logan Cannon. He fires to his tight end. Caught by Myers, a 12-yard catch. This time, four wide shotgun for Cannon. D-Ray to his right with time. Now running out of the pocket to find an open Amendola cutting across the middle for a gain of eight. I'd say the rookie has looked impressive in his first playoff action. First and 10, hand off to DeRay Ray. He had a seam, it closed quickly, a six yard gain. 7.51 to play in the third quarter from the Tennessee 46. Cannon outside, he lobs it to Dyron or on third down, he hauls in the grab and sprints to the Tennessee 34. So far, a nice long possession for the Raiders to open up the third quarter as Cannon sets up a screen right for LeGarrett Blunt. He picks up blocks, runs through a defender, and across the 15, a catch and run of 20 yards for LeGarrett Blunt. Inside the red zone again, 10 yard line, third and six for Cannon, four wide. He stands tall, outside, and Amendola is out of bounds. That was a close throw, but Amendola could not get his feet down. Once again, a three-score, 17-point lead for the Raiders. 20-3 here in the third quarter. Jake Locker in the pocket. Erratic, but he finds an open Kenny Britt on the run for an 11-yard gain. This is where Locker has to be at his best. Third down and 10. Split shotgun with time outside, and Locker floats this over the head of his receiver. Well out of bounds. So the Raiders take back over after a quick drive for the Titans and Logan Cannon goes back to work. Pass middle is caught by Denarius Moore up to the 34 yard line and he is down for a gain of 16 on his first grab on the day. Under three minutes to play in the third quarter as Cannon has three wide receivers in the formation and he is under pressure quickly and dropped for a sack by Deontay Tyson. The rookie linebacker sacks the rookie quarterback and now second and 15 handoff. The D-Ray with some room, he makes a couple of cuts and he has about eight yards on the run. Third and seven, trips left for Cannon, and the backfield is Denarius Moore. He's blocking, and Cannon lobs it for Amendola. One on one, he makes the catch, and shows the defender out of the way. Out of bounds in Titans territory. Danny Amendola showing off the strength. And this offense continuing to work at an effective pace. It's second down and nine, but here is the pressure, and Cannon is sacked again by Shaynon Newman. And a long 16 is needed here on third down for Logan Cannon. Three wide receivers, he steps up. Now fires and in the pile of defenders and Raiders receivers, the pass ball's incomplete. Here in the fourth quarter, it is crunch time for Jake Locker. Down by 17, 10.45 to play, and his pass is cut by Nate Washington on the strike for a first down. First and 10. 
Johnson to the right of Luck. We haven't seen much of him in the second half. And the pass is cut by Kenny Britt running a slant for seven. Tennessee is still looking for their first big play on offense. They, they haven't really had a major spark. It's third and one. And Jake Locker going for it all. Deep down the field and it's knocked down incomplete. Michael Huff on coverage along with Pat Lee. So they have to go for it on fourth down and one. Key play for Locker. Here's the pressure. He's hitting the pass. Is cut by Jared Cook. A big time throw by Locker. 12 yards. Locker and Cook keep the drive alive. First down and 10 from the Raiders, 38. And Locker lobs it downfield, and the pass is cut by Mike Sims Walker all the way to the Raiders 14. Tennessee threatening to cut into this Raiders lead. Second and six, handoff. Chris Johnson up the middle, bouncing off defenders, and he picks up three. Another big third down. The Titans need three. Locker out of the shotgun. Three wide formation. He takes the snap, fires over the middle, and it's incomplete. Overthrew two open receivers, and it's fourth and three. And they're going to send out Rob Barona to kick the field goal to make it a 14-point game. His kick is good. It is now a two-score game with six and a half to go. And now Barona's kick deep back to the rookie. DeRay Ray waiting at his own one-yard line. The Florida Gator fields the kick, goes up the middle, and he's met by Titans defenders brought down at the 18. A flag is down. Holding on the Raiders will be backed up with 10 more yards. After the holding on the Garrett Blunt at their own nine, the Raiders looking to run some clock. Six and a half to go, McFadden sandwich up the middle, he goes nowhere. Just trying to take as much time off the clock as they can and trust their defense. Cannon throwing, middle, caught by Dennis Pitta, a tight throw, but he makes the catch for nine. McFadden back in the game, trying to help the Raiders close this one out. Third and three, outside McFadden, outrunning defenders, and he's brought down just after the first down marker. A couple big conversions on this drive at second and six, under three minutes to go. Hand off to Ray Ray, and he finds some room, and he tries to go outside, breaks the tackle across the 45 to the 46. And to Ray Ray in the game on first and 10. Cannon handoff again, he cuts, and he's blasted, but a flag is down. Gain of zero and holding on the Raiders. And now it's going to be third and 15 yards to go. A toss outside, McFadden looking for room, not much there. The Titans corral him after a gain of nothing. And it's fourth and long. Last chance for the Titans to stay in this game. Down by 14, one minute, 45 seconds to go at their own 34. Jake Locker in the pocket with time. Time's running out and Richard Seymour sacks Locker back at the 26. Third and 17, a long ways to go for Locker. He spreads the field, Johnson in the backfield. And Locker outside, Cook makes the catch at the 40. He's shy of the first down. But it is going to be fourth down and three and the Titans hurry it up. The Titans playoff run is on the line, and Lamar Houston almost cut off sides. Locker with the snap, and he's waiting. Now fires, and Kenny Brink can't make the catch. Incomplete. The Raiders are going to advance to the AFC Championship game. In their return to the postseason, the Raiders have won their division playoff game against the Tennessee Titans. As Logan Cannon puts his knee down, the clock runs out, and head coach Tim Kane gets the Gatorade bath as the Raiders are advancing to the AFC Championship game. And as the number one seed in the AFC, that game we played right here in the Coliseum when the Raiders will have their chance to finally make it back to the Super Bowl. But for now, the Raiders are victorious and now we'll wait to see who their opponent will be. Will it be the Cincinnati Bengals or the New England Patriots? The second round of the playoffs is in the books and the Raiders have defeated the Tennessee Titans and move on to the AFC Championship game. In the NFC, the Green Bay Packers and the Philadelphia Eagles are going to battle it out to see who represents the NFC in the Super Bowl. And now to find out who the Raiders will play. The New England Patriots and the Oakland Raiders to decide the AFC representative in the Super Bowl. And I think we all know what happened last time these two teams met in the AFC Championship game. That was the infamous tuck rule game, which the Patriots won and led to their first of three Super Bowl championships. But now the Raiders have their chance to beat the Patriots and move on to the Super Bowl if they can get a victory next week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the AFC Championship game.